Welcome to Dataprobe Video Tech Support. In this video, I will give you the ability to identify which iBoot product you have. Using this information, you will be able to get the correct information for your particular iBoot. This is the iBoot DC. It is the easiest to identify of all of the iBoots, as it will clearly say on the bottom of the unit, iBoot DC. It runs 5 to 48 volts input. We'll pass that power through to the output. This is the original iBoot AC. This version is 1.5. We no longer manufacture this version. For identification purposes, there is a downlink and an uplink. They are wired separately and differently. There is an input power selector to allow 115 or 230 volt operation. It must be selected because the unit does not auto sense the input power. This is the iBoot original. This is version 3.0. The network jacks are auto cable speed detection and directions, so it doesn't matter if you have a crossover cable or a straight cable. They are wired the same and it forms a mini hub. The AC input power is also wide range input, and you no longer have a selector switch on the side to select the input power as it will automatically detect the input voltage range. 105 to 125 AC or 210 to 240 volts AC. The bottom of the unit will have a sticker on it that will say iBoot and here it will say VER 3.0. That is a hardware revision. This is the newest of the iBoots, the iBoot G2. Clearly indicated on the front with the term iBoot G2. The unit has a reset switch on the front, an indicator for power, input power and network jack. Auto power sensing, auto cable detection, auto speed detection on the network. This unit is the iBoot G2 Plus, also clearly indicated on the front with an iBoot G2 Plus logo. On the output side, you will see the power connector for the output. You will also see the ability for expansion ports, one here and one here. There's a reset button and a power LED to let you know whether or not the status of this outlet is on or off. On the other side, you have an AC power input, which is wide range and auto detection, a network jack, which is also auto speed detection and cable detection, and a mini USB port as well to allow access via a COM port. When you connect it into the USB, it will install as a COM port.